Imagine waking up in the middle of the night, but instead of being in your bed, you're standing in the kitchen. Or even stranger, you wake up outside barefoot with no memory of how you got there. It sounds like something out of a horror movie, but for millions of people, sleepwalking is real. Why do some people get up and walk around in their sleep? What's happening in their brains? And most importantly, is it dangerous? Today, we're diving deep into the science of sleepwalking, why it happens, what triggers it, and some of the strangest real-life sleepwalking stories you won't believe. What is sleepwalking? Sleepwalking, also known as somnambulism, is a sleep disorder where a person gets up and moves around while still asleep. It usually happens during deep sleep, which means the person isn't fully conscious and often has no memory of what happened when they wake up. Some people just sit up in bed and mumble, while others walk, cook, or even try to leave the house. In extreme cases, sleepwalkers have been known to drive cars or climb buildings, all while completely unconscious. But why does this happen? Why do people sleepwalk? Scientists believe sleepwalking is caused by a disconnect between different parts of the brain during sleep. Normally when we sleep, our brain follows a cycle. Light sleep, deep sleep, REM sleep where dreaming happens. Sleepwalking occurs during deep sleep when the brain is supposed to be in full rest mode. But for some people, the part of the brain that controls movement and actions wakes up while the part that controls conscious thought stays asleep. This means the body is active, but the mind isn't fully aware, creating a strange, zombie-like state. Sleepwalking can happen to anyone, but some people are more prone to it than others. Children sleepwalk more than adults because their brains are still developing. In fact, up to 17% of kids sleepwalk at some point. It often runs in families, if your parents were sleepwalkers, you're more likely to be one too. Stress, sleep deprivation, and certain medications can increase the chances of sleepwalking episodes. And for some people, sleepwalking only happens when they have a fever, after drinking alcohol, or when they're really exhausted. Not all sleepwalkers just walk around. Some of them do things that are downright bizarre. Here are a few common things sleepwalkers do mumbling or talking to people who aren't there, opening doors, windows, or even trying to leave the house, eating strange foods. Some people wake up to find they've made full meals, getting dressed and acting like they're going to work, texting or calling people in their sleep. And in rare, extreme cases, some sleepwalkers have even committed crimes and had no memory of it afterward. Is sleepwalking dangerous? Most sleepwalking episodes are harmless, but in some cases, they can be dangerous. Since sleepwalkers aren't aware of their surroundings, they can. Trip and fall. Walk outside into traffic. Try to drive a car while unconscious. This is why waking a sleepwalker can actually be important, but you have to do it carefully. Should you wake a sleepwalker? You may have heard the myth that waking a sleepwalker is dangerous, but is that true? Not really. The main danger isn't waking them up, it's how they react. A sleepwalker might be confused, disoriented, or even aggressive if startled. So if you ever find someone sleepwalking, gently guide them back to bed instead of shaking them awake. Don't yell or scare them. Let them wake up naturally. If they're doing something dangerous, wake them up calmly and carefully. How can you stop sleepwalking? If you or someone you know sleepwalks frequently, there are ways to reduce episodes. Stick to a regular sleep schedule. Overtiredness can trigger sleepwalking. Reduce stress and anxiety before bed. Keep the sleeping area safe. Lock doors and remove anything sharp or dangerous. Use an alarm or motion detector that gently wakes the person up if they start moving. For extreme cases, doctors might recommend medication or therapy to help control sleepwalking. Crazy sleepwalking stories. 
Some sleepwalking stories sound too strange to be real, but they actually happen. A man once sleepwalked out of his house and woke up on his neighbor's roof. A woman ordered $300 worth of food online while sleepwalking. She only found out when it showed up at her door. One teenager even drove 10 miles in his sleep and had no memory of it. These cases prove just how powerful the brain is, even when we're asleep. So why do people sleepwalk? It's a mix of brain glitches, genetics, and deep sleep confusion. Have you ever sleepwalked? Or do you know someone who has? 